uh, is going to give us all the details about what's going on there. Thanks very much for joining us, uh, Swangile. Um, is the protest still on? What's been happening? What's the problem? Yes, good afternoon, or rather good evening, Peter. The protesters dispersed earlier in the afternoon, round about three, after they delivered a memorandum with their demands to officials of the Department of uh, Cooperative Government and Traditional Affairs. They received it here at the municipality. They were saying that uh, they are sick and tired of delivering memorandum to the same mayor whom they want to uh, resign with immediate effect. Therefore, they are calling on the department now, provincial government, to uh, step in and remove the mayor. They are accusing the mayor Vusimota of corruption, nepotism, and they are also accusing him of hiring hitmen uh, to kill and shoot those who disagree with he, with his leadership style within the Mkondo municipality. So today we saw that much. We know that earlier last month, uh, Minister of Police, Minister Peggy Kele, was here in Pitritif where he listened to members of the community uh, tabling their demands and complaints against uh, the minister, saying all those things that I've mentioned before, and the minister promised that there would be an investigation into that. But today, they brought new allegations against uh, the, the, the mayor, saying that uh, he has hired uh, a security company here at Mkondo Municipality that was owned by his wife. And once they were appointed, that security company then changed ownership. Now is now owned by his brother-in-law. We've tried to get hold of the security company, but with no success this afternoon. We're still here in Pitritif. We will try and get more on, 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 the, on, on, the, on the security company so that we can hear from their side. We spoke to the mayor uh, during the day after the protest. He gave us a, a response, which is in, in the story that we've packaged, where he's saying that he will not just step down because a few members of the community are demanding that he steps down. The ANC, which put him in his position, when it says to him he must step down, he will only step down then. He also um, rubbished the allegations of corruption against him, saying that people must bring those uh, allegations forward to law enforcement agencies and that um, the security company, none of his family members were within the security company. But with me to tell us more about this procedure of appointing the security company in, in Mkondo, we have the municipal manager, Mr. Kunene. Mr. Kunene, good evening and welcome to SABC. Just how is the security company appointed the new one? Uh, the security company was appointed following our procurement uh, processes. Uh, it was advertised and it went through competitive bidding uh, and that's when it was uh, awarded uh, at, uh, on the 1st of February 2018. These allegations that these residents are bringing, do you have any idea of them? Who Do you know the owners of the security company? Are they related to the mayor? When this, in the normal process of uh, appointing, we do not normally check uh, the directorship of companies. But when these allegations were brought to our attention in the first uh, memorandum, we did a preliminary investigation internally and we confirmed the directorship uh, of the documents that were submitted uh, to us as a municipality. And, uh, it's owned by Sangwenis, uh, that family. So it is none that is related to, to the executive mayor as far as we are aware. And we have requested on a bilateral with the protesters that if there is any evidence contrary to that, uh, can they bring it to our attention or report it to the relevant authorities uh, for them to investigate the matter. Minister Peggy Kale was here also on these allegations of corruption and nepotism against the mayor. How far is that process, do you know? Uh, I will not be privy to how far is the process, but we know uh, for a fact that these matters are receiving attention. Uh, the police are investigating the matters, so we are giving them space uh, to conclude their investigation. Uh, we'll then take it from there. 
I know this is pertaining directly to the mayor personally. Uh, they were alle alleging that he hires these security guards as hitmen at night, and then the minister, when he was there, he announced that somebody had been arrested. Has the minister come back to the municipality to say that that person that's been arrested is somehow linked to the mayor or the municipality at all? No, so we haven't received uh, any information. Uh, we are aware that a person was arrested who resides in, uh, who is from Pongolo, uh, who works for for the security company that is also guarding our property, but he was never posted in any of our properties as a municipality. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Kunene. That was Mr. Kunene, who is the municipal manager here in Mkondo, explaining to us all those allegations put by uh, the, the residents. Well, the residents are adamant on their side that there is corruption here and that the mayor has a case to answer to. And they are saying that they will not stop protesting and marching here until the mayor steps down. They were saying today they have reached now the provincial level, and if the provincial level Level, doesn't take any corrective steps to remove the mayor, then they are going straight to national level where they will be talking to the minister, Minister Zuelim Kize. And with that, it's back to you in studio, Peter. Thank you very much indeed for giving us that wrap from Mpumalanga. And that's the SA Today, Alicia. We, as we do every single day on yeah. this show, in this last hour in particular, we go right across the country yes. and we tell the local story from a local perspective. Because local no reporters. story is too local yeah. for us. If it is happening in your region, best rest assured, we're definitely going to cover it. Thank you so much. That brings us to a wrap of SA Today. I know he's back tomorrow. He's very busy. I'm back on Friday. I want to take a couple of days yeah. off. Thank you. For